Hi, I'm Chris Gardner with your tip of the day from Practical Help for Your Digital Life. You can find all my tips on my website, and I post lots of them on Facebook, iTunes, and YouTube. I hope you'll join my member-supported website where you can also get tip sheets with helpful links and detailed how-tos. Please join today. Today's tip is about how to get your home wireless network to work better. Chances are you're getting your internet service from one of the big providers, Verizon, Comcast, or Cox, and you likely got a router or cable modem from them that also gives you a wireless network in your home. But maybe you have dead spots where you can't connect to your home network. What can you do? The first thing to try is moving either the router or its antenna. Sometimes just moving the router a few inches or feet can change things enough to eliminate the dead spots, or just changing how the antenna points. The best bet is pointing the antenna straight up or a little bit over. While you're at it, make sure the antenna is firmly screwed into the router. A loose connection or an antenna lying flat against the router's case can severely limit its range. This is because radio signals travel in a perfectly straight line between the antenna on your router and the antenna in your computer, tablet, or smartphone. The signal path can be blocked by anything in between those two points and cause a dead spot. This includes the router case itself, thick walls, heavy furniture, and especially anything metal, like a filing cabinet. You also need to consider the range of your router. Think of this as a 300-foot donut with the antenna pointing straight up in the middle of the hole. Any device located inside the donut can connect. Anything outside can't. As you tilt the antenna, the donut would tilt with it. So for example, if your computer is located directly where the tip of the router's antenna is pointing, you might not get any connection at all, just like as if there were a lot of obstructions between you and the antenna. If none of this helps, then you may want to consider adding a device called an access point or a range extender to your network. If you have network cabling in your home, you can plug an access point into that wired network. If you don't have that cabling, you'll want to use a range extender. A range extender just needs to be plugged into electric power and located somewhere as far away from the router as you can as long as it's inside that donut. It'll connect to your wireless network and extend it for you with another donut further away. Multi-story homes can really benefit by having one or more range extenders, especially if your router happens to be in the basement. Check with your local computer or office supply store for whichever device you need, or order online from places like Staples, Best Buy, Office Depot, Amazon, or Newegg. And even if you don't use a Mac, I think the Apple's Airport Express can be a quick and easy way to extend your network. They're not really expensive and work very well. As always, my members can grab my printable tip sheet and get more detail and links to resources I've mentioned here. And if you find my tips useful, please share them with your friends. Clicking the like button is great also. And don't forget to become a member of Practical Help for Your Digital Life. Thanks for watching.